Today we show how two very different street riders make their way to the track for the very first time. Our first rider, Kelly, has been riding for less than a year. She's both excited and nervous about her first trip out to the track. Uh, my name is Kelly Beerson. I've been riding motorcycles for about 10 months now. Our second rider, Jonathan, is a more experienced rider. He's excited about getting out to the track and finding the limits of his bike and of himself. My name is Jonathan Beecroft. Uh, I've been riding about six years, almost. Street miles, about, I'd say 35,000 to 38,000 on this bike alone. Um, and then I've probably taken out in the canyons, you know, maybe 1,000, 2,000, 25,000, or 2,500 miles. The biggest incentive for me to do the track day, and the reason I really want to do it, is I want to become a better rider. The big day has arrived. Time to unload the gear on the bikes and get ready to hit the track. All the preparation and anticipation has led to today. I've been waiting for this for like two months. I am so stoked. I was just waiting for the guy to say, okay, any last questions? I was like, yeah, can we ride now? Feeling pretty nervous. Yeah, excited? Um, yeah, a bit. A bit really nervous. A track is, is the best riding experience I think that you can get. Obviously it's the safest um, and it'll be the fastest uh, that you can do on, on a bike legally. I know it's going to be a great learning experience for me and I know afterwards I'm going to have a better feel on the road and I'll feel more comfortable. I already know this. so. Being new to the track, we just didn't want to send them out there on their own. The purpose of being here is to learn and improve your riding. So we had them sign up for the Track Tactics New Rider School. Track Tactics is a non-profit track day organization designed to get people to do their performance riding on the track and not on public roads. This is a perfect start for our track newbies. We have the beginner program that we highly recommend to all the beginners to join us. Our main mission is to take the people off the streets and canyons, bring them to the racetrack and then teach them how to ride at the racetrack with the safe environments. Uh, what we did is we, we built a program for a novice program, which is designed for people they are ready to go on the racetrack, leave the streets, ready to learn the basics. Our ultimate goal is to feel comfortable on the bike. Um, we want them to go home on the streets because most of these guys ride the streets. We want them to go, you know, it's safer on the track. If I do hit the canyons, I'm not going 100% anymore. I realize 75, 70% good enough. I'm not risking my life out there. I definitely feel like I'm gonna learn a lot at the track day, take corners correctly and all this other stuff, but it's nerve wracking because there's always blind corners everywhere. And I know on the track day, there's not gonna be the blind corners, so I can really get the feel for how I can take a corner and how low I can get and how comfortable I can feel. So that's very important to me and I think uh, it'll really help me out on the streets a lot more. Tell me how to take these turns, um, you know, how fast I should be going, how my body should be positioned. It's almost time for Kelly and Jonathan to hit the track, but before they mount up and ride, they have to hit the classroom first. This is the first of six classroom sessions they're gonna have to attend today, and it's a critical part of their learning experience. This section here is very important. Uh, so I, I always talk about sections, okay? Don't see one corner or one turn as itself. You see, it always has a section. This here is a section. This from here to here is a section, okay? Our lead instructor, Ken, is gonna cover some basics for the first classroom session. Then it's time to hit the track. First, we head out behind Kelly. Being less experienced and a lot more nervous, she was very tentative around the track at first. You could see by her body positioning just how tense she was. Jonathan, having much more riding experience, wasn't as nervous. He did, however, have some issues with his body positioning and his lines through the turns. By the end of today, both riders will be making some big improvements in both their riding skills and confidence. When most people go to the track, you know, they might have the idea, um, hey, you know, I'm going to go out balls to the wall, I'm going to go and throw my knee down the first turn. But that, you know, when you're, when you're out there and you have the instructors, they tell you, you know, you're not going to be doing that the first time out. You're going to be learning how your bike works in those turns. You're going to be learning how your body needs to be in those positions. And once you get that, then 
you are getting faster and smoother on the track. People are starting to get a lot more confident. Um, and that's the number one thing. Everyone's nervous. They don't know what to expect. They go to the classroom. And first session, first session, everyone's kind of all over the place. They don't know what to do. They're, you know, they're, they're everywhere. Now after the third session and everything else, people are starting to feel a lot more comfortable. The speeds are coming up. Their body positioning and stuff is looking better. The confidence of the turns are looking better. Um, overall, everyone feels a lot more comfortable out there. By the third or fourth track session, you're just, you're so much more comfortable, uh, faster. Um, you're not worrying so much about clutch and, and where's my knee at. I felt a lot more comfortable. Like in the beginning, I was nervous, you get, but you start learning the lines and you're feeling people out and you know they're passing you and you don't have to really worry about it because they have to pass you from a certain range, so it really wasn't, you get used to it, it wasn't uncomfortable. As comfort levels rise, it's time to give our first time track riders a more intimate view of the track. Now everybody gets loaded into a couple of trucks for a slow speed view of the track. So you can be quicker and safer when you go a little bit more straight to this, from this point to this point. Following their lines and knowing exactly where to go and when we went out there on the truck showing us exactly where the lines are I mean, it was so beneficial to me. With this late apex you set yourself up for this turn Okay So you just roll through this is just this left turn is just to set yourself up for the for the priority Which is that one up the hill. It's much faster as it looks like okay many people go in a wide line through it, you can make, you can go straighter, just cut the bike and go through, okay? Orientation point is clear, this little cone up there, you see that? Now that our track tour and half the day is over, it's time to improve our rider's body positioning. But that will have to wait for next week. Coming up after the break, we go to Race Tech to start Project Kyosung and Project ZRX. We got the ZRX 1200R. Conventional fork on it probably had more to do with making it look old than anything else. Way, way soft. Uh, really under damped. You could tell even just riding beside you. You know, when you put the brakes on or go over a bump or anything, the wheel would almost leave the ground.